ever wondered if love at first sight is a real thing or just a romantic fantasy we've all bought into? Welcome to the enigma that is love at first sight. The concept has been used and abused in countless movies and novels, leading us to ask the question, is there any truth to it? The idea of falling in love instantly may seem like a fairy tale, a myth wrapped in the veil of romanticism. Some dismiss it as mere infatuation, while others swear by its existence. But what if we told you there's science behind it all? In today's world, where science seeks answers to even the most abstract concepts, love at first sight isn't an exception. Like a detective peeling layers off a mystery, science dissects this phenomenon, reaching into the nooks and crannies of our brains. So, are you ready for a journey into the human psyche? Prepare to have your mind blown as we delve into the fascinating world of our brains on love at first sight. Attraction isn't just about good looks or a charming personality. There's a whole lot of science behind it. Let's start with the basics, the biological factors that come into play when you experience love at first sight. One of these is pheromones, chemical signals that your body releases into the environment. These invisible scents are like secret messages that can influence the behavior of others around you, especially potential mates. In fact, some studies suggest that our noses might be picking up these signals subconsciously and guiding us towards people who are genetically compatible with us. Now let's not forget about physical attributes. Humans are naturally drawn to physical features that indicate good health and fertility. These can range from symmetrical facial features, which might signal good genes, to a person's waist to hip ratio, which could indicate a potential mate's ability to bear children. But it's not just about what's on the outside. The brain plays a crucial role in the process of attraction. When you see someone you're attracted to, your brain goes into overdrive. The hypothalamus releases dopamine, a neurotransmitter that's associated with pleasure and reward. At the same time, the amygdala, the part of your brain responsible for emotional processing, gets busy interpreting these signals and creating an emotional response. This whole process happens in mere seconds. That's right, your brain makes a snap judgment about potential mates in the blink of an eye, all based on a complex interplay of biological signals. It's a roller coaster ride of chemical reactions and neural processes, all happening behind the scenes while you're simply looking at someone and thinking, wow, they're attractive. But hang on, it doesn't stop there. After all, love at first sight isn't just about being physically attracted to someone. It's about feeling a deep emotional connection with them almost instantly. This brings us to the next question. What stimulates this connection? So it seems our brains are wired to make snap judgments about potential mates. But what happens next? The moment we see someone and feel a spark, a whole lot is happening inside our bodies. Our hearts may race, simulating a mini workout pumping more blood to keep up with the sudden surge of excitement. Now, this isn't just a poetic expression. It's our body's stress response preparing us for a possible life-altering encounter. Simultaneously, our brain is working overtime. It's releasing a cocktail of hormones, including dopamine, the pleasure hormone. This chemical surge generates feelings of happiness and euphoria, making us feel good about the person we've just met. But that's not all. Our brain also releases oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone. Oxytocin strengthens social bonds and increases trust, making us feel a deeper connection with the person in front of us. It's a fascinating dance of chemistry and biology, all happening in a matter of seconds. These physiological responses can make us feel like we're falling in love instantly. Now that we understand the science behind love at first sight, let's explore how we can increase its likelihood. First, enhancing physical attributes associated with health and fertility can increase attractiveness. This doesn't mean undergoing extreme transformations, but rather focusing on self-care, healthy eating, regular exercise, and good hygiene. These can subtly signal good genes and a healthy lifestyle, attracting potential partners on a biological level. Secondly, engaging in activities that release dopamine and oxytocin can elevate your mood and foster connections. This could be as simple as watching a funny movie, going for a run, or even petting a dog. These activities not only make you feel good, but also make you more appealing to others. Lastly, 
creating opportunities for meaningful interactions and shared experiences can deepen connections. Whether it's volunteering for a cause you're passionate about, joining a club or group, or simply spending time with friends, these shared experiences can build bonds and foster deeper connections. While there's no surefire way to guarantee love at first sight, understanding the science behind it can certainly increase your chances. So go out, engage, and let science do its work. So is love at first sight real? In a way, yes. Our exploration has taken us from the enigma of love at first sight to the science of attraction, and finally to the anatomy of love. We've discovered that it's not just a fanciful concept from fairy tales and rom-coms, but a real physiological response. When we speak of love at first sight, we're talking about a complex dance of hormones, neurotransmitters, and a little something called the halo effect. The initial spark, that instant attraction, is largely a biological reaction. Your body is responding to potential compatibility on a genetic level, while your brain is creating a quick subconscious assessment of physical appeal. Yet the depth, the emotional connection we often associate with love, that takes time. It takes shared experiences, trust, understanding, and mutual growth. While love at first sight might not be the deep, soulful connection we often imagine, there's no denying that it's a powerful and fascinating phenomenon.